This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we have a Whirlpool washing machine that isn't draining or it might be draining slowly. You might even get an error message. So this is pretty easy repair. I've lifted the machine up onto my plastic case to give me a little bit more room to take off this front panel. It just helps you to get into where the quarter inch screws are. And once you remove those you can pull the panel off and then you have a nice little uh, coin trap here that you can pull out. You might find that there's some stuff caught in there that's just keeping it from draining fast enough. Or maybe it's just not draining at all. And uh, it just catches coins and things over time. So I started the cycle and then I press the uh, spin speed button to go to the highest speed. And then I press start. And then I'm just letting it try to drain. And it's just barely draining the water. So I'm going to put the um, front panel underneath where the coin trap is. And then I'll open up the coin trap and let some of that water drain into the front panel. And then I can just I can dump that water out. So sometimes you have to do this a few times where you fill the front panel and then you dump the water out and you go back and forth to get all the water to, to get out. You could also use a, a bucket, but this fits in really good right underneath this uh, coin trap. This is a really cool design. You just grab this and turn counterclockwise and the water will come out. Be a little careful though. If you feel like too much water is coming out, you can just tighten it back up and that'll stop the water. So I just had a little water left in there, pulled the coin trap out, and then I noticed there's this big sticker that was in there and I think that was keeping it from draining. And there's some coins and bobby pins and stuff. That's normal. I've often found socks get pulled in here and cause it to not drain, especially like small uh, baby socks, like for a new newborn is very common. I'm reaching in with my finger into the right where there's a little hole and there's a drain impeller in there that I want to feel that it can turn. Sometimes you can get like a rubber band or a, a hair tie wrapped around the impeller and then it won't turn. It's easy to fix though. You can actually grab it with uh, some needle nose pliers. This one, the impeller was turning really good. So it was just that big sticker was in the way. So I'm just going to turn this now clockwise as tight as I can. So it's a nice watertight seal. And <coughs> I'll dump out this water and then put everything back together. And I think we're going to be fine. So these machines, um, have a certain amount of time that the computer or the software wants all the water to have drained out. And if it doesn't drain out in that prescribed amount of time, it will often complain with a error. And once you get this debris out of the coin trap, that usually does the job. Pretty seldom do you ever have to um, replace the uh, drain motor. It does happen, but it's, it's not too often. I'm putting the uh, front panel back on, push it in really hard to give it a little bit of a heel of hand to lock it in, and I'll put those two screws back in. Again, putting this whole thing up on a floor, or in this case, this little plastic <coughs> case, definitely helps you to get into where those screws are, otherwise it's kind of hard to do. So I'm doing the same thing, I'm trying to get it to go to drain early in the cycle. And on these machines, if you press, once you turn on the power, if you press the spin speed button to the highest speed, and then you press start, it'll activate a drain cycle. So now that we got the obstruction out of there, it's doing good. It's draining as it should. And some people ask me, well, what do I do if I have to wash? Uh, here's, the, here's the things that were in there again. Sticker and bunch of coins. And people ask, what do I do? I have to wash uh, little socks and I tell them, put it in a knit bag 
Same thing with bras. Bras have a wire sometimes that will sneak out of the bra and it'll get caught in the drain mechanism. So I think a bra or small uh, underwear items or small socks, I would put them in a knit bag and they still get really clean, but it's very unlikely that it would um, jam up the pump. Hope this has helped you and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance. Thanks for watching.